Let's now see a related refactoring, which is the decompose conditional refactoring. What happens here is that in some cases, the complexity of the conditional logic in a program can make a method hard to read and understand. Specifically, we might have one or more particularly complex conditional statements. And similar to what we discussed for the previous refactoring, the conditional, if it's too complex, might tell you what happens, but obscure why it happens. To address this issue, you can do a similar thing to what we did in the previous refactoring. You can transform the condition into a method and then replace the condition with a call to that method. And if you give the right name to the method, as we saw in the last example, that can make the code much clearer and much easier to understand. In addition, here you can also do something else. Let's assume that also the then and else part of the conditional are complex. We can do the same thing with them. So what we can do, we can modify the then and else part of the conditional by extracting the corresponding code, making also that one into a method, suitably naming the method, and then having the call to the method only in the then and else part of the conditional statement. So let's see how that works with an example. Here we have the method that computes some charge, and it computes the charge based on some characteristics of the date that is provided as input, let's imagine, or it's just you know, one of the fields in the class. So as you can see, there is a conditional here that checks that if the date is before the beginning of the summer, so before summer start, or it's after the summer end, then it computes the charge using some winter rate. Otherwise, if we are in the summer, it will compute the quantity, the charge using a summer rate. And this is just a small example, so it might not look that complex, but you know, just project this on more realistic code, on larger code, you can end up with uh, conditions that are hard to understand. And even in this case, uh, even such a small piece of code, you have to kind of look at the conditions, figure out what does it mean for the day to be before the summer start and after the summer end. We can make this much clearer. So how can we do it? By applying this refactoring as we described. Let's see what happens when I apply the decompose conditionals refactoring to this method. The first thing I will do is to take this condition, create a method that perform exactly the same check, give it a meaningful name, in this case I called it not summer, which is pretty self-explanatory, and then replacing the conditional with a call to that method. So as you can see here, there's a clear improvement in the code, because here I just need to look at this statement, and I see right away that the check, what the check is doing is just checking whether the date is in the summer or not. So much easier than having to interpret this condition. And the second thing I do is to take the code that computes the charge, and also in this case, creating suitable methods that compute the winter charge and the summer charge. And I call them exactly winter charge and summer charge, which again is self-explanatory. And then I replace this computation with a call to that method. So again, when I look at this code, I can clearly see that the charge is computed using some sort of winter charge calculation and then using some sort of summer charge calculation. And uh, if I don't want to know how this is exactly computed, that's all I need to know to understand what this method does. Easier and faster than looking at this method and figuring out what it does. And if I need to look at the details, exactly like in the previous case, I can just go and look at the implementation of winter charge and summer charge, but I will be looking at that in its specific context. So without having to understand everything at once. So in this way, you make it clear both why you're doing something, because it's not summer, and what exactly you're doing. You're computing a winter charge or a summer charge.